Hey guys, this is Bonnie, and today we are making chicken pasta skillet, which is one of the recipes that comes in our chicken chef's pack from Thrive Life. Most of the ingredients that we need for the recipe are going to come in our chef's pack, but there are some ingredients that we will need from our pantry. In our chef's pack, we have chicken slices, red bell peppers, onion slices, sweet corn, um, green chili peppers, which are really just sliced uh, jalapenos, instant black beans, chef's choice seasoning, and velouté sauce. All right, and then from the pantry, we're going to need bow tie pasta, uh, butter, which is right here, garlic, which you can use fresh, or I'm actually gonna use freeze-dried garlic. Got this off of Amazon. Um, chili powder. Cumin, which is here. Um, water. The recipe calls for hot sauce, but we don't really like a lot of spicy food, or I should say my kids don't like a lot of spicy food, so I'm going to omit the hot sauce from the recipe. Um, also, sour cream. Uh, cilantro, which the recipe calls for fresh, but I'm actually using Thrive Life's um, freeze-dried cilantro. And then the recipe calls for lime juice, but I am going to use the limeade, um, which is a seasonal product from Thrive Life available in the summertime. And I like to use it as a substitute for lime juice. It's basically concentrated lime juice and it really gives it a nice flavor. So to get started, I have my water back here, and I'm just gonna turn this up just a little bit to bring it up to a boil. Um, and once that's boiling, I'll add the pasta to the water. To get started with um, our skillet meal, in a large skillet, we're gonna saute the garlic and butter. And let's see, so we need a tablespoon of butter heat up my pan a little bit here okay so I'm gonna melt my butter in the pan and then um, I've got my water boiling so I'm gonna go ahead and add my bow tie pasta And this is salted water. So we can have some real tasty pasta noodles. We want to stir our noodles together or stir them in the water to make sure they don't clump up. All right, so my butter is nice and melted. I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of garlic. Now when you're sauteing um, anything freeze-dried, but especially the freeze-dried garlic, we'd be very careful to not let it um, simmer too long because it is very prone to scorching. So I'm really only going to give it about 30 seconds in the pan. And then I am going to go ahead and add my chicken slices, red bell peppers, onion slices, sweet corn, chili peppers, and black beans as well as our water and our seasonings. Um, so let me go ahead, I need a cup of chicken slices. Half cup of red bell peppers. Thank you. 
a half cup of onion slices. We want to make sure that our oxygen absorbers do not end up in our pan. Um, two tablespoons of, or did I miss one? Yes, half a cup of sweet corn. All right, two tablespoons of our green peppers. You see these are very finely diced. Oh, here's my lid. All right, and a quarter cup of instant black beans. Stir this all together because everything is getting very brown on the bottom of my pan there. And now I'm going to go ahead and add three and a half cups of water. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and add our chili powder, cumin, and Chef's Choice seasoning. Just gonna give this a good stir real quick. Make sure nothing's stuck to the bottom of the pan. All right, so we need a teaspoon of chili powder. teaspoon of cumin, and that is it. And we are going to bring this up to a simmer. Now, if you're familiar with our um, simple plate meals, you'll know that they come with recipe cards and they have step-by-step -step instructions. The chef's pack is really just kind of a step up from the simple plate where it's giving you ingredients, um, but it's giving you the measurements for the ingredients rather than having everything pre-portioned for you. And your chef's pack comes with these pantry cans so that you can measure it out and then you'll have leftover ingredients afterwards if you want to make the recipe again. And then anytime you want to make the recipe and you've run out of ingredients, then you just reorder pantry cans or if you really like that ingredient, you can reorder it in a family can. Um, which is a, a much larger can. In fact, this is the size of the family can here. Now, on the back of these recipe cards, they have the same very simple step-by-step -step instructions that you're used to with the simple plate meals. So all you have to do is just follow each step and it'll take you through and you can have a meal that's very quick, very easy, and all of the ingredients are shelf stable. This is a great idea if you're putting together an emergency supply kit, emergency food supply, because each chef pack is gonna come with five or six recipes that are gonna feed between four to six people each for each recipe. So that's gonna cover a lot of the meals in your emergency supply kit. Um, anything that you want beyond that, you can either have multiple um, chef's packs because the chef's packs do come in chicken, beef, and the shredded pork, or you can even um, do some, some meal in a jars or things like that. Uh, there's, there's some really good options, especially for breakfast that can be done as a meal in a jar. And then that way you can add those and then you have a nice variety of meals to eat that taste good and they're healthy for you. Not a lot of these um, ready-made meals that are designed for emergency supply kits that are loaded with sodium preservatives and things like that. This doesn't have any preservatives. It doesn't have any artificial flavors, artificial colors. It is just pure, simple food that's been freeze-dried. All right, so I'm still waiting for this to come up to a simmer. 
And then once this does come up to a simmer, we're gonna simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, the biggest things that we wanna make sure cook through is we wanna make sure that our chicken is nice and tender. And then we also wanna make sure that our black beans are, um, are tender, no longer crunchy. So we'll let this cook and I'll strain my pasta and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, so our skillet has finished simmering. Got it here. There's still a little bit of liquid, but we're gonna thicken that up in just a minute. Biggest thing here we wanna check is we wanna make sure our black beans are nice and tender. That was not a whole bean. And I guess they are tender. Yeah, because they're just kind of falling apart in my mouth. Okay. Um, and then also, our pasta's done, so I have strained it and put it back in its pot. Now, to thicken up this skillet, I'm going to get my velouté sauce. And we are going to add a half a cup of velouté. going to go ahead stir this in here oh, try not to splash it we're gonna let that simmer for about two minutes okay our two minutes are up so we're gonna go ahead and stir in half a cup sour cream. And then the recipe calls for a tablespoon of lime juice, but I am going to actually do two teaspoons of the limeade. Like I said, this is just gonna give it a nice tangy flavor. Okay, and last but not least, we are going to add a teaspoon of our Chef's Choice seasoning blend. And then the recipe calls for three tablespoons of fresh cilantro. Um, what I am actually going to do is one tablespoon of freeze-dried. Alright, just stir all this up. Now, I'm going to stir in my pasta. All right, so there you have it. A nice creamy dish that the entire family will love. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.